a funny scene, man. Yes, brother, yes. That's a funny cast right there. That's my first time seeing that. Uh, Jason Biggs from American Pie. Yes, yeah, of Maggie course. Lawson from Psych. But that was my first time actually seeing part of the show because it doesn't debut until next week. Oh, next week. oh nice. Yeah. We got to share that How with you. How did y'all get that? Yeah, listen, we got people. We got way up see. in here. Oh, up in we also just had A.D. Bryant on the show. Yes. Talking about a little bit of uh, Eddie Murphy when he came back to host mm -hmm. at SNL. What was that experience like for you to see him on that stage? Bro, I flew all the way back, spent my own money mm -hmm. just to be in the building. And, it, and it, it definitely delivered, and everybody's a huge Eddie Murphy fan. But I was like, I just came out here for a photo op. Can I get my picture with Eddie? <laughs> and sure enough, at there the, it is. Yeah, at the after with party. Usher. With Usher. Yeah, oh, you got a <laughs> bonus. Come on now, I got a bonus, bonus right there. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Melba. You don't know Usher. <laughs> <laughs> Melba was quick, though. Yeah. Devil on, with, devil on the chin. I devil ain't putting nothing past Melba. No, no, no. no don't play that Melba. That just shows that you can be 100 and still freaky and enjoy life. Exactly. Because Melba was a freaky 100-year-old. She was. I don't want to see her if the Chiefs win at all. She want to see you, though. She, yes, right she made there. that clear. She be turning up. She yes. turned up right there. Now, originally, of course, uh, started off doing stand-up about 20 years ago? Yes. Is that, is that safe to say? Yeah, man. But I, always, I always say, man. This that's... face, the, our faces, we look like babies. Right. You know I what like I mean? That. I like Thank you, I, sir. Yeah, <laughs> man. 20 years ago, I'm thinking about, it was BET's Comic View, actually. Oh, is that It right? was my first TV appearance, and, uh, and everybody knows. I know Scott, you know. Come on. We grew up on BET Comic View, you know? And that's, I've always, I always say, it's, it's a lot like fighters, stand-up comedians, because you're up there alone, mm -hmm. completely vulnerable by right. yourself. How nervous were you that first time? Oh, I was out? a wreck, bro. It, was the, it wasn't even a planned thing. It was, it was, I was on a date in a comedy club, and you know how they give out free comedy tickets mm -hmm. to anybody just to get people in there? So right. I'm like, oh, I'm about to be the man. This is a free, cheap date for me. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, the girl gets in there and, with me and starts ordering everything. Off the last side of the menu. Oh, no. You know. She said, Oh, it's gonna be a good day for me, too. <laughs> she, how you order pasta at a comedy club? Like she ordered everything. She was carving up. Yeah, oh my goodness. So I didn't have I didn't have any money. And the host said, if you tell the best joke, we're gonna have a joke contest, we will take care of your bill. And then one of my boys who was also on the date, he looked at me like, I'm not funny. You yeah. you gotta take one for the team. What'd you and, hit him with? Man, it was just a joke I made up in the moment. Okay. And, but so, it worked. But it worked. It was just a, we had, we had a heckler who was heckling the dude before the, before the show even started. And so he was trying, he was saying, yeah, he was saying, lady, we're going to have to kick you out if you keep going, nah, 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 nah. She kept doing it. Oh, no. So when I told my joke, I went up there and I said, basically, you know, in public school, how many of y'all went to public school? Everybody clapped. I said, well, we have a drill for everything. Fire drill, you go ding, 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 ding. Tornado drill, ring. I said before our hurricane drill, because it was Miami, mm -hmm. I said, we didn't have a bell. We just had that crazy lady in the back going, ah, 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 ah. ah you used the ring. I used it. Everybody laughed. Smart. The dude nice, looked at man. me. He said, hey, man, come back next week. We do an open <laughs> mic. And, and that's how you started in comedy. That's how my comedy career started. And then six years later, I was on Saturday Night Live. Look at that. Come Cut to that. On. And then, uh, so Eat your heart out, Melba. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from professionally, personally, things are going. How many kids you got now? Chris? I have two kids now. Things are going great. What are the ages though? Uh, four and one and a half. Okay. Ooh, okay, we're right in that same wheelhouse yes. right now. Oh, she's Come adorable. On. Come on, precious. Yeah. What's the like, best, isn't it? It's, it's it's you know what it is. I love being a dad, mm -hmm. but they are all about their mother. Point blank. Period. Just they are my, they are their mother's secret service. Wherever right she now goes, they are. right now they are. the kid. Yes, it'll change. <laughs> I told my daughter last night. I put her to bed last night. I said, you know, young daughters take care of their fathers when they get older. So I'm hoping that when I get older, you'll take care of me. She said, no. <laughs> no. Not my story. No, nope, that's not Dang, me. Another no, tough no, 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 no. Already had me. She, she said, you can go live with your brother in Atlanta. She oh. already knew where oh. I was going to go. <laughs> oh. Because she's not taking care of me. So Out, it's, like, it's like the show Outmatched, right? It's, it's, you're living in Pretty much. Home. My daughter is a genius like that as well. Very articulate, super smart, just a genius. And I'm like, all right, maybe that's part of my side of the gene pool. Maybe it's my wife's. <laughs> But, you know, you, if you have a conversation, you swear you're talking to a grown woman. So. And, and the premise on Outmatch, are essentially the kids are kind of like running the household from the adults. Pretty much. Keep up. If, if you remember Family Ties back in the day with Michael yeah. P. Keaton. and mm -hmm. uh, Alex P. Keaton. Alex P. Keaton, yes. We, Michael, I was combining right, Michael combining Fox. Combining Michael yeah. P. Fox, gotcha. But um, everybody's smart like that. 
Oh, so, nice. And they have one kid that's kind of like normal and average, <laughs> which makes the parents feel very normal and average. Right. But that's their favorite because the other three kids are just geniuses. Yeah. And so the hilarity just ensues from beginning to end. And because Tisha Campbell's your wife, right? Tisha Campbell. Cool cast, it's going to be man. so like good. Tisha Campbell. Sweet. Gina. 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 It's Vanessa Mitchell's wife. Look at God. Yeah. That's where he, I have come from. Won't he do it? Won't he do it, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> from Comic View to all of a sudden Tisha Campbell is my TV wife on Fox. Come on, man. That's great, man. On a Super Monday at that. On a Super Monday. Now, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, what is that? Because I am new. Fox's new mayor of Monday. Uh -oh. I am encouraging people to take, make their Super Bowl weekend a three-day weekend. Okay. You're gonna take off. Yes. You're gonna take <laughs> off for work anyway. A lot of people right? call in. They said over 20 million people usually use that Monday to call in sick Should or whatever. Be a whatever. So it might as well be a holiday. Right. And I am encouraging people to go ahead and take that Monday off responsibly. <laughs> okay. Responsibly. <laughs> I like that idea. Yeah. I like that. We just got the okay. Right. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Check out Finesse on Fox's new sitcom Outmatch. Yes. Thursday, January 23rd at 8:30.